Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and today I will be teaching you how to automate the Empowerer from the Mod Actual Editions. To build this automation today, I will be using five mods, although only the first, first two are necessary. And the necessary mods are Actual Editions and Applied Energistics 2, but I'm also going to be using Ender IO, Thermal Dynamics, and RF tools to complete my version of this automation. So let's take a look at what the Empowerer can do. So it can make lots of different things from the mod actual additions. And today I'm going to be doing this particular recipe. It is the Empowered Palace Crystal Block, and it requires one Cyan Die, three Prismarine Shards, a, and a Palace Crystal Block. So let's go ahead and type in that automation, so or that recipe rather, so that I can get things started. So there's our pattern. And let's go downstairs because that's where I'm going to set this up. The display stands that uh, I have in my inventory right here, they need to be powered. And let's go ahead and place them down on the cryostabilized flux ducts, which I already have routed underneath the floor. And I already have this placed down, but the empower needs to be in the middle here. It needs to have two blocks in between it and each display stand. And let's go ahead and run through one of these uh, empowered palace crystal blocks real fast. So how you, how you normally would do this is you would manually place down all of your blocks and then uh, once you have everything in the necessary position you will see these lasers get started and eventually you will end up with an empowered palace crystal block so that's all good and well but i prefer to automate things so what we're going to do is we're going to use this me interface up here which i already have placed down and is connected to my applied energistic system and beside that i'm going to place down this uh, basically uh, modular storage unit uh, you can use a chest here i'm using a, mo a modular storage unit here just so that i can actually see inside the inventory because uh, there's a block above it and if i used a chest i would not be able to see in the inventory so here we go, the Empowered Palace Crystal Block is done. So how I'm going to work this is I'm going to use some item conduits to get everything all set up. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be extracting things from this uh, stored modular storage unit right here because um, when I put this pattern in here, when I tell it to craft the Empowered Palace Crystal Block, it will insert the uh, four different, or the five different items rather, into the modular storage unit here. And then I'm going to route the items to where they need to go um, after they land in the modular storage unit. So I need to run some item conduit here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using some filters so that I can send the items in the right directions. Now the cool thing about the inventory of the display stand is that they can only hold one item. So that's really, really neat and really, really useful. So I need to set up all of these to be insert over here on the display stands. You will never be extracting anything from the display stands, so that's nice. So I'm also inserting a filter into the uh, conduit there. And then I also need to do two more conduits here. And we will be extracting things from this particular item conduit right here. So I'm going to be placing down two filters as well. So let's get started over here. I'm going to whitelist uh, floral cyan powder. And then on the other three display stands, I am going to whitelist prismarine shards. So let's do that rather quickly. And that is done. So let's see here. On this, I need to insert the palace crystal block. And then I need to have the extract filter set up to only extract the empowered palace crystal. So what should happen when I place items in, or these uh, items into the modular storage unit, it should send them out and it should start the process. So let's see if that happens. So it looks like that's all good and well. So one last thing I need to do is I have this set up to extract and I have it on the brown channel. I need to have it insert over here into the ME interface on the brown channel. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Everything should be all ready to set up were already set up, I should say. So uh, let's actually remove all of these items here from that inventory and let's send them to my system. So as you can see, nothing's going on right here. So let's go ahead and tell it to make one of these blocks. So uh, let's go ahead and do that to start. And this should get started rather quickly. 
So as you can see, the system is up and running. And that is how you automate the Empower from the Mod Actually Editions. You will need two mods to do this. You will need Actually Editions and Applied Energistics 2, but I used five today. I also used Ender.io, Thermal Dynamics, and RF Tools. If you feel like you learned something today, definitely feel free to drop a like down below. And if you like watching automation type stuff in modded Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and I will see you next time.